I was a stick growing up and the most unathletic kid you would have ever known. Classmates bullied me because of how small I was. All the bullying that I overcame motivated me to become who I am today, dedicated by being faithfully committed to the track and to fitness, strong by lifting heavy, pushing myself every single day, and being stronger and faster than the person that I was yesterday. Finally, by being big, during high school, I played football and ran track to get faster. Due to my poor vision, I was benched as a wide receiver. During my junior year, all that changed when I was bumped up to running back and didn't have to rely on perfect vision. Doubted by teammates that I'll ever score touchdowns. I was that kid that trained and worked hard in the offseason. My hard work finally paid off when I scored my first touchdown during my second play as a running back after rushing nine yards during the first play. This touchdown was the spark of my athletic desires. It gave me insurance of my potential. I then quit football my senior year to train with a personal trainer to focus on track. My trainer saw my potential and my desire to run. He would only train me if I quit football. My love for track was greater than football. If you're truly passionate about something, you would do whatever it takes to be great at it. You will want to improve, aim to excel, and dream of eventually dominating. I experienced a lot of injuries during my track career. I fractured my collarbone my freshman year of high school at track practice because I had bad coronation. We were doing 200 meter repeats and I ran into someone's lane, tripped and did a 360 in the air and landed on my collarbone. Sophomore year, I minorly fractured my fibula from spring football practice while running 40-20s. Junior year, I sprained my groin at an all-comers meet. Senior year, I pulled my hamstring at league finals. My passion for track and field inspired me to return from my injuries and continue running. You only have one life to leave your legacy. Right now, I'm writing a story that people will one day remember me for and talk about when they are at my gravestone. Every day, I'm working hard towards success. One day we will make a huge positive impact on this world. I'm extremely hungry for success. I know I have a bright future ahead of me. I've been working hard and I've been extremely committed to make my dreams become a reality. I made a lot of sacrifices and commitments in my life. Success in the making. This is just my beginning. We will leave a legacy. I really appreciate you guys for watching our video to the end and for supporting our journey. And I know some of you guys may just watch this video and just realize that I posted this video before, but I invested a lot of time editing this video to make it fit into TikTok. And then from there, I added the greatest highlights of my life. I already told the story to some of y'all, but I wanted to reamp this video even to make it even better because I'm more wiser than I was before. I have gained more experience, so I decided to improve on the video and just add a little bit more highlights. I want you guys to know I love you guys all. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I want you to know that if you guys ever need anything, I'm here to support every single one of you guys. And just keep working hard towards your goals. Whatever goals you guys have, just know that your mind's a garden and you're able to manifest anything if you're willing to put in work and take action and stay disciplined and not care about what other people think and get out of your comfort zones because that's what I did and now I'm able to talk to anyone and I'm not afraid of people. So I want you guys to know that, look, I was an insecure, shy dude in the past. So if I'm capable of getting out of my comfort zones and developing myself to become the person that I am today, you guys can too. Just be yourself and learn to love yourself because you are amazing in your own special, unique way and you just gotta find one thing that you love about yourself and just say that to yourself every single day reiterate it and eventually you will learn to love yourself because you are beautiful you truly are beautiful just gotta learn to not care what other people think because this is your life and you only live once just live the best life but i really appreciate you guys for supporting our journey and right now we're all you know going through hard times because of covid19 and i just, I just wish you guys the best stay safe make sure you guys wash your hands and just make sure you're distancing yourself from people as of right now don't get out of your comfort zones yet get out of your comfort zones when this virus is over and find the greatness that's in you. If you guys haven't, make sure you guys turn on post notifications. And whenever you guys watch our videos, make sure you guys watch our videos to the end to help boost the algorithm. If you're watching this video to the end right now, I just want you to know that you're truly a blessing and I love you and I can't wait to meet you guys in person someday. I speak peace, prosperity, and health to you and your families. I love all you guys. Live life to inspire and spread positivity and make today your day and work towards for a better tomorrow. For all you guys who may have been overwhelmed by me posting a lot of videos about Addison Ray, I just want you guys to know that I really do like Addison. And I'm just shooting my shot at her because I truly believe that God gave me this vision and I really want to be with her. I believe that she could be the woman for me. And so I'm just right now providing value to demonstrate what kind of person I am and the value that I can provide. And I really appreciate you guys for supporting my videos that I dedicated to her. You guys are awesome. I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry for overwhelming you guys. 
But also guys, if you guys can, continue to help me out by tagging Addison. If you guys watch our TikToks, tag Addison in the comments. Make sure you guys share our videos. I love you guys all, thank you guys so much. Everyone that you meet in high school, everyone that you made friends with in high school, you might not hang out with them in a couple years from now. When you get out of high school, you start a new chapter of your life. You become a new person. You start over. You go to college. You make new friends. You have new goals. You have new dreams. You have new aspirations. Life is 